What's up, I'm Anton. Welcome to another GTA 5 video. Today, I'm going to play the Emergency Services mod, and we're going to do some firefighting based here out of the Rockford Hills fire station it's going to be a fun a little episode i'm looking forward to it and we got some really cool trucks that we're going to be using today so before we jump in here and take some calls let me walk you through the vehicles and show you what we are dealing with starting with this really awesome engine this is the pierce velocity engine and it is well pretty badass one thing that i really actually do like about it and i'll come out here out of the truck is i love 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 these mirrors that are like overhanging from the truck it kind of gives it a bit of that retro look which i don't know it's real it's singing to me ah! okay that no singing anton no singing but pretty cool truck another thing that i love about it and i'm gonna walk here to the back you can see we got some connections there now if you watched my lspdfr mod you probably know i do a pretty decent job being a cop firefighter not so much so you might hear some things and you're gonna cringe and you're gonna be like ah Anton, that's that's not how you say it. I'm sorry. Please let me know in the comments if I'm saying something incorrectly, if I'm calling it a hose and it's supposed to be something else, if I'm calling it a connector and you're like, no, that's not a connector. That is a pipe thingy. I don't know. But one of the things, anyway, back, I digress. Back to what I was talking about. One of the things I also love about these trucks, and actually all three of them have it, is the waving flags there in the back. They look really, really cool, especially when you're driving it. Of course, you will see that in a second the second one that we're using today is the pierce velocity and this is a ladder platform truck and what makes it a platform if you're not familiar with the firing fire terms firefighting terms uh well the platform is that box right there essentially and that's kind of what makes it a platform because this truck right here is also a ladder truck and that's what's called a stick ladder truck because there's no platform at the top it's just literally a kind of a stick that goes up so we're gonna use two ladder trucks we'll see how depending on the cause we get we'll see which one we take out but they are pretty cool looking trucks again they got the mirrors overhanging from the truck you can see there's the panel right here and it is pretty detailed like if you look closely and it is getting a little dark here in the city the sun has gone down but if you look a little closely i mean that looks it looks pretty awesome there's a lot of work that has been put into these models we got all sorts of gauges and levers you pull and hoses you're attached and stick things where you're not supposed to stick things i'm sure and let's go here to the back see what we got here in the back and of course the flags waving now one thing and if you've seen me use these sort of vehicles before one thing that you cannot do at least not yet is use the ladder unfortunately and i'll show you by climbing on top of this truck unfortunately they're not solid they're just there as part of the model but you can see i'm basically walking right through it so it'd be really cool if you can actually go into that little platform into the box and then hoist yourself up because there is a script that allows you to move the ladder and i'll show you that right now if i press o on my keyboard there comes the outriggers which are really really cool they're now stabilizing the truck and watch this now i'm gonna go Boom, and look at that, it actually works. It works perfectly, you can extend it out and it goes out pretty far, like, I mean, you can see how far and it just keeps on going, like, look at that. Look how far that goes, that goes really far. You can't even properly get that in the camera here and it just keeps on going. I mean, we can probably reach, reach the other side of the street, basically, more or less, I mean, just about. And you can move it to the side. It is really, really cool script that allows you to do all of these things, but you cannot actually climb the ladder and it'd be awesome if you could and then do some firefighting when you're like above the fire um i don't know maybe maybe at some other point they will add that in but for the time being it's more more or less a cosmetic thing you kind of get to the fire you extend the ladder you look at it you're like ooh, this is really nice and then you use your fire extinguisher to put out the fire so <laughs> that's how it works but we'll make it we will make it work. We'll have a ton of fun. I'm going to get ready here. We're going to get ourselves some of our firefighter buddies out here. I'll get the ladder put back in. We'll get the firefighter to come with us. Even though they're most of the time, they're really useless. They stand around kind of picking their nose. They, they don't do anything. But we'll see. Maybe they'll help us out this time around. So let me get all set up, get ready for some calls, and we'll go firefighting. And 
we're ready to rock and roll. I got my firefighting buddies here with me. There's three of them. I decided to go with three because three is enough. Alert. They sometimes can't even get into a truck. Fire. Here Fire we go. Ooh. Pearl Seafood Restaurant. Pearl Seafood Restaurant. Location. Del Perro Beach. Shots at the Street. pier. Red Desert no. Bay. Okay, we're going to take that call for sure. Um, I think, you know, it's a big restaurant. It's down by the pier. I think the ladder, platform ladder truck is the perfect vehicle here for this call. Let's jump into it. Uh, dispatch, this is Tower 2. We are going to be responding code 3. Where are you going, you idiots? They're trying to get into the truck as we speak. Take your time, guys. No rush. The restaurant is burning. The pier is burning. But what is he doing? Why is he just walking around? Come on, man. See, this is why I hate getting the AI firefighters because they're useless. He just keeps walking into the truck. We're going to have to go without him. Goodbye. See you later. Is he going to get in now? This is your last chance, man. What if I pull back? Nope. All right. Goodbye. See you, see you later. You're going to have to run over there. All right, there we go. We're pulling out and we're heading to the pier in our massive platform truck here. Now, I didn't go through the whole light setup because it was going to be way too long of an intro. Where's all the traffic? There's like no traffic today. But I figured you guys will see the lights here as I play the game. One thing that I don't like about these trucks, and you probably have already noticed this, the yellow lights in the back are very, very powerful very powerful oh man oh boy oh boy oh boy yeah you can see they're like really flashing the entire world basically is flashing yellow there behind me that's the one thing i do not like about these trucks but other than that i think the lights are absolutely fantastic lots of lights here on these vehicles and they do look amazing i don't know how i feel about having blue lights on my fire trucks i'm always used to seeing red lights on my trucks but you know, we'll go with that. Why not? All right. Clearing our way here through these intersections. As traffic always tends to get in my way. This is going to be a really tight turn. I'm going to take wide. We're going to take really wide here. It's going to be a really tight fit here between these cars. Do not move, everyone. There we go. Nicely done there. Okay, here we are coming up on the Del Perro Pier. Somebody is moving out of our way the taxi is not but we are clear of traffic and let's see here so fire at the pearl seafood restaurant that is at the end of the pier there got another idiot ahead of us stay out of the way all right here we go we got people all over the pier do not see the fire yet all right come on Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Oh, there it is. There it is. Finally spawning on us. There comes the fire. All right. Dispatch at Tower 2. Oh, this is a big one. Go ahead and show us here. 1023. Let's get our outriggers extended. I'm going to park up right here in the middle. We'll get the outriggers going. Let's get our ladder extended as well. Even if it's just for visual effects, it will look pretty cool. Oh, come on. Ladder go up. There we go. Wasn't going up there for a second. There you go. That looks awesome. And let's jump out and start battling this inferno. See, I told you this was going to be a big one. Oh, and they're actually doing something. <gasps> it's a miracle. They are doing something. Well, that guy isn't, but at least the other one was. Come on. You're standing inside the fire. Uh, oh, oh, it's cr oh, oh, this is not good. Okay, this is not good. It is spreading and it is spreading quickly here towards our truck. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 All right, I'm the only one that's actually doing anything. These two guys are being completely useless. That person just realized there is a massive fire and decided to run away. He's like, oh, my God, there is a blazing inferno. Yes, there is. Okay, that is coming up really close to our truck. Um, um, all right, I'm going to have to move it. I'm going to have to. Yeah, I'm going to have to move it. I'm going to have to move it. Let's get, oh, let's get the ladder. Get the, get the ladder back in. Go, go, it's a race against time. The truck is now engulfed in flames. Get the outriggers extended. Back out. Move, 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 move. Oh, man. Oh, boy, watch out, watch out. Oh, oh man, I had to act really quick there. All right, is it going to be okay now? Does it need to be moved again? 
it's probably not safe leaving the fire truck like that with the ladder pointed outwards but oh there we go we're good okay i'm gonna move it back Whew! that was close boys go fight the fire don't follow me idiots oh my god they're trying to get back into the truck no do not get back in the truck let's put it out here so that way maybe the fire will not get it all right this is definitely not proper firefighting but <laughs> it's gone sideways a little bit just a little all right the ladder is out somebody climb on there if you can and i'm heading to the fire as i fall over now the key here with this mod is you always have to find those little hot pockets hot pockets ba -da -ba 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 hot pockets Sorry, I got distracted there. Uh, you do have to find the actual source of the fire because otherwise it will just keep, keep on spreading like this. So wherever those little hot pockets are, you got to get to them. You got to put it out and prevent the fire from spreading. So I'm going to go actually up here because these hot pockets are over here as uh, the fire continues to spread back towards my truck. At least they're doing something there, the firefighters. Come on. There you go. All right. So let's get them. I think this could be a hot pocket right here. Because if you don't put them out, they just can't keep on burning. Like, all of this furniture is a hot pocket. You can see right there. And then just keep starting the fire over and over and over again. You can actually spend, like, two hours out here battling the flames if you don't put out these actual, what I refer to as hot pockets. Again, I'm sure you can let me know in the comments if I'm not using the correct terminology, which I'm sure I am not. But that is, I don't know, I like hot pockets. It sounds fun. It's like, what did you do today? I put out some hot pockets. All right, we got the plant. See, there's a hot pocket right there. See, right over there, it's just burning by itself. That's the definition right there of a hot pocket. All right, let's get the furniture. Somebody save the chairs. Are they actually doing something? I hear them. Oh my God, they are doing something. Oh, another hot pocket right here. There we go, get the plant. Save the planty. No, Mr. Plant, you will not burn today. I will save you. Guys, uh, guys, guys, guys behind you, turn around. Okay, this is spreading yet again. How did this furniture manage to catch on fire? I'm gonna go to the other side. Look at this, this whole patio is engulfed. No beers on this patio tonight. Come on, boys, do something. Man, that ladder track, platform truck looks awesome. And there's lights there on top of it as well. Actually, I just realized too, oh, there, there, there's a fire under the truck, what? How did this happen? Boys, you're supposed to keep an eye out here. On the truck. Oh, it's still burning down there. Did it go out? I might have gone out. Alright, let me let me turn on the actual lights too, because there's also lights on top of the on top of the platform, and I think that does it. Um let's hope let's hope that works. Let me go back and take a look. Because we should see the spotlights on top of the platform go off here as I fall over. Alright, let me try to get through this fire yet again. Look at this. Come on, guys. Put it out. Do something. Alright, let's get some reinforcements. This is just <laughs> getting ridiculous. Um, dispatch, this is Tower 2. Can you send an additional uh, engine out here? Request we need a fire uh, engine in progress. We need some help. My guys don't seem, be, don't seem to be doing anything. Why do I keep falling over? Fire engine request Why? completed. Oh, there their a lights are. See? That looks pretty pretty cool with the lights like two spotlights shining fire onto the fire on site. okay this is out of control now out of control fire engine is on site um we have to be we seem to be having some difficulties yeah people are running ah! run run it's a big fire it is a humongous fire okay look they're actually doing something fantastic okay i'm going into the flames i'm gonna battle the flames by being inside the flames, it's a brand new firefighting tactic that I just came up with here because, like I said, otherwise we'll be here all day. Because you can see, it just keeps on spreading over and over and over again. You have to be pretty good with putting out these hot pockets because they just keep on burning. All right, let's get this. I think this is a hot pocket right here. We'll get this extinguished. Who's burning? Somebody's burning. Get him out. Put him out. Whoever it is. Alright, we got another hot pocket over here that I made some good progress on. Okay, that's good. That's all out. Anything up here? 
No, we're good up there. Okay, excellent. It's just now they're left over. So the patio is safe. The patio has been put out. It's now just these leftovers here that we have to take care of. And that's it. Well, part of the patio is still burning, but I'll take care of that pretty quickly. Let's get these little guys right here. Yep, good, 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 good. And then the rest of the patio furniture. This is probably the source of the fire because all of this furniture is all wood, old, burnt out from the sun, dry. See? There we go. Is that it? Hey, what the? Did we do it? I think we might have done it. I think we were successful. Another engine showed up here to help us out. Pearl's Seafood Restaurant has been saved. Let's just make sure by going into our menu here. And I'm going to use the thermal camera just to take a look and double check. Make sure there's no hot pockets that are left over. And actually, everything looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. No fire on the roof. No fire inside the building, on the building, on the patio. Everything looks great. I just see a bunch of firefighters. A bunch of glowing firefighters is what I see. All right, fantastic. Thermal camera is off and I have somehow undressed myself. Lovely. <laughs> okay. Thermal camera, and I lost all my clothing. Well, all right. We are going to be... Um, we are going to be code 4 out here. Dispatch Tower 2. We'll be 10-7 back to the station. I already took off my uniform. I'm done. I'm done with this fire. I do not want to fight any more fires. We got to do a few more calls, though. Boys, jump back in. Let's get our ladder put back into on top of the truck get it retracted gonna swing it back around this way like so that looks pretty awesome all right Woo, those are some powerful lights all right get it retracted get it down make some slight adjustments here as we bring it down i think that looks pretty good that is really really good maybe just eh, just a little eh, eh, eh. just nudge it over just a tad let's get our out outriggers retracted as well and we're going to turn off... Alright, you know what? I'm going to downgrade my lights here. Just like that. They're slightly going off here as we try to back up. I'll turn off my spotlights as we try to back up on the pier. The pier did clear out pretty good. I mean, rightfully so. When this whole wooden superstructure is burning, you get off the pier and you stay off the pier. And now it looks like some people are coming back here as I carefully back up without hopefully running anybody over. Here we go. How did my bumper... Oh, watch out for that guy. Where are you going? Why are you going into the truck? All right, let's keep backing up. And these people are just completely oblivious to the big red truck that is backing up here on the pier. Let's turn back around. Like so. Perfect. And we'll turn this way like that. And we will be 10-7 back to the station. And we are back at the station. I'm going to back her in. Like so. And we'll be good to go. Yeah, you see this yellow blinking at the back? That's what really drives me insane. Because it's like the entire world gets lit up here by the yellow lights all right yeah i don't know what happened to my uniform but <laughs> i'll have to put it back on uh dispatch tower two is back we're gonna be code 4108 available for some more calls in the meantime here let me put on my uniform alert 100 fire at the up and okay Adam we got River. another fire going terrace down on fire terrace on Location. fire del perro street boulevard del perro okay We'll take that call for sure. We're going to jump into the next ladder truck. This is another terrace on fire, another restaurant. What is up with all of these restaurants being set on fire? So I'm going to jump in here into the stick ladder. And hopefully these guys will be able to get in. Probably not, knowing how they are. They're just going to walk around. Oh, oh, whoa, <laughs> look at that. They're actually getting into the truck. All four of them are going to be coming along with us for the ride. That's awesome. All right, so now we are Ladder 7, Dispatch Ladder 7, responding code 3. I'll make my way, my way over to the Up and Adam Burger, and I will meet you there. 
Come on, biker, what are you doing? And here we are coming up on the restaurant. Terrace on fire is the call that we got, and there it is. It is another big fire for sure. All right, dispatch, uh, ladder seven, go ahead and show us uh, 1023. We got another massive fire. Let's get the outriggers extended as on as we did on the previous truck. And I'm going to go ahead here and raise the ladder. Let's get our spotlight turn, turned on as well on it. We're going to move it up here in this direction. There's the spotlight kind of working. All right. Oh, it's just like jumping over there a little bit, but that's good. Maybe we'll bring it up and try to... I don't know, something like that I think will work. Yeah, whatever. Some, something like that. It's really hard to position the spotlight. Okay, let's hop out. And dispatch, uh, go ahead and show us uh, 1023. Okay, so this thing is spreading pretty quickly. I'm not sure why it says unavailable, but could be a key combination that just didn't work there with the ladder and the mod. But we'll get up here. We'll start putting out the fire. We are definitely here on site. And we do have a big fire burning on the terrace of Up and Adam Burger. And we'll go ahead and start working here on this. Come on, save the Taco Bomb neon sign. Man, this thing is burning. How is it burning? It's like glass and metal and non-combustible materials. But I got it. Oh, got the plant on fire again. All right, there's our ladder. Look at those spotlights. It looks awesome. All right, get the furniture. Somebody is setting these restaurants on fire because now this is the second restaurant today that has been set on fire. Either they don't like these restaurants or... They hate patio furniture. Maybe it's like a patio furniture arsonist that likes to go to restaurants and set patio furniture on fire because he's like, you know what? I'm sick and tired of all those uncomfortable chairs. I was in this restaurant and my back hurts. So he came back here and set it on fire. Maybe that's what happened. I don't know. But I seem to be the only one, however. Now that I actually noticed, my guys are just standing down there doing nothing. Oh, well, and they're up here too doing nothing, but they're doing nothing. See, I told you earlier, they're completely useless. I don't even know why I get them. I should just should just go out by myself. I might as well because I'm here doing all of the work by myself. Come on, at least like try or attempt to put it out. This one seems to be fairly easy though because it's not as combustible as the pier the pier is all made out of wood so that thing just lights up like no tomorrow but this is all like tiles and cement i still hear fire where is it all right this is time to use our thermal camera oh it's right underneath us what the i'm like on top of it hmm all right, let me go back out here. Oh, how did I lose my uniform again? Every time I use the thermal camera, I get undressed. Oh boy. Okay. Um, dare I put on my uniform? I will. There you go. I don't know. Sometimes you do these things like put on the uniform and then the game crashes because the game is like, whoa, wait a second. What do you think you're doing? Okay, boys, we got a fire like inside the building. I, I got to try to figure out how to get to it. The bean machine looks like it's, it's burning. It's spread to the bean machine. Or, no, it's spread to Wigwam. Bison burger is burning. How? I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. It's like inside there somewhere. I'll just spray some foam here through the windows and hopefully that works. There you go. That's what any firefighter would do, right? <laughs> I still hear it. The rings of speaking of rings of fire, every fire. There you go. This place is. I don't know. I'm just gonna say it's good enough. It's probably a bit of a bug. On uh, on this call, that's what I'm thinking here. Is we probably will not be able to put it out because I can still hear it. So we'll just treat it as it's out. The patio is out. Everything is safe there on the terrace. Up and Adam can. Uh, sell more burgers there guys you were completely useless thank you very much for nothing 
All right, ladder seven. We are going to be all code four here. Dispatch we will be uh, 10 7 back to the station. Let's get our ladder retracted as last time. Stow that sucker like that. Straighten it out. Is that pretty? Nope, that's not quite straight. There we go. That works. Get the outriggers pulled back in. And we will be out of here. You coming with us, man? No? All right. Goodbye. We just got a Street call here about a various fire. Other fire unspecified. Not sure what it is. So I think this is a great opportunity for us here to use our engine truck. We are going to be engine four as we head out here to see what's going on here on Popular Street. Now, where is that? That is all the way down there. So that's going to be quite a haul here as we get going. Uh, dispatch uh, engine four responding code three here to that other fire unspecified. Can you be any more vague? Oh, man. Jumping into first person for a little bit. This is a big truck to drive in first person mode. I can barely see as we go around all of this traffic now. I think I've been at this fire before. It's like down under the bridge, so we actually have to go around. And I believe it's this way. All right, there we go. And I think we have to smash through these barriers here to get down there. Oh man, this is very difficult being in first person mode. Oh boy, here we go. Ugh. All right. I'm going to jump out of first person mode and here we are pulling on site. Yep, there's the fire right there. Dispatch, uh, this is engine four. Go ahead and show us uh, 1023. All right, we're on site. No ladders to extend this time around. Just a beautiful, beautiful truck. And we're going to go here and fight this fire. Looks like it's just some garbage that caught on fire here. Our guys are actually doing something. It's a miracle. It is a miracle. As I say that, they stop working. <laughs> I'm just gonna not say anything because every time I talk about them actually helping out, they stop helping. And now they're running into each other as they fight to help me. They're like, no, I'm gonna help Anton. No, I am gonna help Anton. No, you ain't. I am gonna be helping Anton. See, again, as soon as I start talking about it, they stop doing it. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore them and hope for the best. Yeah, you guys do whatever you gotta do. Oh. oh. You see that? Did you see that? As soon as I start ignoring them, they just they just start working. Maybe that's my mistake all along is talking about them and being around them. Because they seem to be maybe they're camera shy. As soon as they know they're on camera, they're like, uh, no, 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 that's not happening. But look at that. They're actually doing something. That's awesome. All right. We got quite a bit of a. Uh, wood out here burning uh this oh danger danger 2400 volts is on fire what put it out oh this is not good this is not, you know what i'm gonna try to maybe this is not the safest thing to do but i'm gonna climb up here so i can get a better angle here on these flames on top of this generator or whatever this thing is a transformer 2400 volts going through that thing and it is on fire and we're right next to it and that is not good because it can just blow up right in our faces. All right, come on. Where are the hot pockets? Let's go find the hot pockets. This is what's currently creating this whole situation out here with the uh, all this fire continuing to spread. As you can see, it's now spreading yet again. Oh, just spray the firefighter. All right, let's see here. I think this is our hot pocket right over there. Yeah. Yeah, I think there is. Let me jump over this way. Whoa, what a jump and right into the wall face first. It's okay, I'm wearing a protective mask. Protective headgear will save us. How can she... I can't climb that thing. What the... All right. Got a little bit left here. There we go. My fire extinguisher stopped making sounds. I hope I don't run out of fire foam. Are we done? Yes, we are done. Look at that. My firefighters here. As soon as I stopped talking about them, they were fantastic. Look at that. Where did the other one go? One of them is missing. Oh, there he is. Where were you? Were you just checking out? Oh, who are these guys? Who are these guys? Did he just swear at me? Hey. 
Is he giving me the finger? Uh, dispatch, uh, this is, uh, what are we again here? Uh, ladder, oh, it's not ladder. This is engine four. Uh, can we get, uh, can we get some police reinforcements Request out of here? We have some people harassing us. They were probably the ones that started this fire, because what are they doing over here? Police request yeah, that's completed. right. Get the cops over here to deal with to them. Your intervention. Oh, yeah, okay. They're swearing at us. Let's get out of here, guys. Uh, dispatch, uh, ladder, uh, ladder, <laughs> engine four. We're going to be code four and 10-7 uh, back to the station while the police will hopefully take care of these individuals setting fires and swearing at firefighters. Oh, boy. All right, boys, climb back in. Back to the station we go. Look at the dirty truck. We're going to have to wash it when we get back to the firehouse. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA 5 Emergency Services Mod. Make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And also check out some of the other videos right here on the channel. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.